Hey folks, how you doing? So I'm down the plot today, uh, just fed the chickens. Uh, give them a quick tidy up as well. Put some more elephant grass down to uh, help out with the deep litter system. Uh, they've had some uh, corn, some sunflower seeds as a bit of a treat. And now I'm off to uh, hit the gym, hit the gym. Now I've been doing this thing where whenever I come down the allotment now, um, I try and, because there's a new uh, communal gym up the top, I try and do at least 10 reps of all the stuff on there to help out with my physio. So uh, yeah, so now I've done that, as if by magic, I have to do physio because of my condition, because uh, it keeps me supple, limber, keeps me moving, I suppose, is the best way to put it. I've had to knock on the head some sports that I used to play. For instance, you probably know that I used to play walking football and a bit of five-a-side, but I just can't do that anymore. Oh, the gate's locked. Hang on, bear with me a sec. I have to be careful here because I have to keep an eye out for dog poo because people don't pick the dog poo up and you walk through this bit, which is the public bit of land, and it's just like turd minefield. So yeah, so I've started a few, few months back, started off with doing 10 reps, try and do 15, 20 if I can, but I always, but it's not always possible because obviously some days it's, I feel sore than others really. But anyway, it's just five minutes away from the allotment, so it's quite nice actually. So yeah, having this uh, set up five, ten minutes from the allotment has been quite nice actually over the late summer and the autumn. It's been quite good to uh, I don't know, get out and about really and uh, get a bit fitter. Not that I'm the fittest person anyway. But no, I need to start doing something now, not playing football. I found that when I was playing football, obviously I, I love football, I've always loved football, but uh, our seats are a bit wet. <laughs> yeah, so I found since I stopped playing football, well, I had to stop playing football, should I say, because although I was playing walking football, too many people were, it was too rough in the end. I mean, it's daft, isn't it? You've got 50, 60 year old guys and they're just charging in and clattering each other and hip checking each other and a bit of shoulder barge and I was finding I was getting jolts in my back and in my spine and you know you're standing there you, you collect the ball and then someone clatters into you and it just jolts you it's almost like you get whiplash so I knocked that on the head um because I just I was getting injured too much I was playing football let's say on a Friday I was spending most of Saturday and Sunday morning curled up on the sofa feeling sore um and I don't think I was getting much from it. Yeah, I was getting fit, but I was also, the getting fit part was also leading to sometimes two, three days of feeling absolutely crap and bruised and battered and everything else. So, uh, yeah, something I had to give, and it was football. Uh, I, I would quite like to have played walking football still as non-contact, but the non-contact around here stopped for some reason. There was a, there was a thing in the club, uh, some of the old members left, some new members come in, and some of the new members who obviously come from five aside didn't really like the idea of the non-contact even though the whole point in non-contact is don't get injured and it just kind of ended up being a mess and then I found that walking football was just as bad as five aside so I started just playing five aside again um, because if you're going to play walking football and get injured you might as well play five aside and get injured but hey ho so anyway I digress so I started coming to the gym and it's been all right um, uh, I definitely noticed an improvement I actually feel like I'm got some strength in my shoulders uh, or got more strength in my shoulders the last few weeks uh, don't know if you remember a few years ago I, I tore a shoulder muscle and it took me ages to get on top of that I now feel like I'm 85 90 percent there with that I mean it's t two years ago two and a half years ago I can't think when it was uh, but yeah it was an absolute nightmare and the fact that it's taken me this long to feel not even 100 percent but you know 90 percent so yeah the gym was the next best thing really after football was um i can stay active um and i can do it in my own time and i'm coming this way anyway to do the chicken so why not spend five ten minutes doing this now i'm going to show you my routine it's not a fat lot it's just to keep me keep me mobile but i do need to work on some cardio but i don't know what i'm going to do for cardio yet because i can't run because of my knees and hips and stuff it's just it's not good uh i, I was okay if i was side running around a bit because obviously it's nice little soft 3g pitches and they're quite spongy but yeah even that hurts your hips and knees too much so i need to think of something cardio uh, just to keep my heart up um it'll probably be swimming to be honest but at the moment um 
I was going swimming when my other half worked in the, another town where the swimming bass was. So we would go to, well, when I dropped my other half off at Wellington, which is like the next town over, because there was a swimming bass there, I would go swimming there. And then it, it made sense with the fuel because I don't like to waste journeys and waste fuel. So, but at the moment, she's not working there anymore. Uh, just the office has changed. So it would be a journey out of my way just to go swimming. And the local swimming bass, which is just down the road from my house, is closed for refurbishment. So, um, so yeah, that, that's where I am with that. Anyway. Let's do some, do some weight, shall we? Right, so this is what I've been doing. I know you people are going to say my technique's all wrong, but don't forget, I have a disability, so I have to do things slightly differently. So, here we go. So yeah, I tried to do 10 of these if I can. I try to go all the way up. I don't go all the way down because I don't like to relax. I want to hold it there and then push it up for the next one. And obviously it's a controlled. Too many people go up fast, down fast. But the whole point is you're supposed to control the speed because you get a better stretch. And I've lost count, so I don't know what that is. So I'm going to do five more. One. Two. Whoa. I can't do five. I can't do five more. Ah, that's it. Good work, that is. Really hard work. Some of you might really know that from video a few weeks ago, well, a few weeks ago, no, months ago now, I said about how I twisted my knee. So this has quite, quite helped with the physio of sorting my knee out. Um, I, I got a quad tear. I twisted my knee and that led to like a quad tear. My left leg kept giving way. If I put too much weight on it, and especially as I've been learning to bowl cricket the last uh, few months, when I was coming over and putting weight on it, it would just give out. So uh, I've been coming on here and doing 15, 20 of these on one leg. And since I've been doing this, it's actually sorted itself out. So basically what I do, if I wake up on a Monday and I feel my left quad or my left hamstring is giving me grief, next time I come down to do the chickens, come down to the outside gym, give it a 10, 20 minute physio session. <clears throat> because let's be honest, <laughs> you can't get a doctor's appointment to see anyone, can you nowadays? It's an absolute joke. You can't. Well, to be fair, I'm all right because the, hosp the hospital I go to, Oswestry, because of my condition, they're really good. So if I was to ring up and say, can I have an appointment, they'd get me one. But obviously it's an hour's drive away. <laughs> but just getting a GP appointment at the moment around here is a nightmare. So if I had to say to the doctor, I've got a pulled muscle in my leg, can I have a GP appointment? I'd probably look in at six weeks before I even see you saw somebody. And then by that point, <laughs> You might as well try and fix it yourself with a bit of physio, if I'm honest. Ah. And I always do just till it starts to hurt and then do a couple more and then that's it. Ah. That's my legs. Do the right one. So how's everyone doing? You all keeping well? Autumn. Not been treating you too badly, I hope. I know there's been a few storms kicking around, aren't there? Storm Bibet or something. A friend of mine's up in Scotland and uh, he's had it quite rough up there. Uh, well, I saw some of the videos and it was proper, proper blowing a hoolie. It was right by the coast. To be fair, I think we've, we've skipped the worst of it here in Shropshire. I know we've had some localised flooding because obviously the water coming off the Welsh mountains and running into the rivers and stuff. Iron Bridge was flooded because of the water running down the hillside into the valley and things like that. But as for wind and destruction, I think we've got off lightly here in Shropshire compared to other places. And there goes the phone. One more. Ugh. Hello there. So that's it, folks. That's my at least once weekly, sometimes twice, three times weekly, 
physio routine to keep me uh, limber. <laughs> I've also made myself a kettlebell out of a four litre fabric softener bottle, which has been filled up with water, had the lid duct taped secure so it can't leak. And then when I feel like I need a stretch, I throw that thing around the lounge. And it works quite well actually. And uh, it saved me 15 quid on buying the kettlebell as well. And four litres, that's four kilos. So yeah. Anyway, till next time folks, take care. Speak soon.